When installing NetAdvantage for SharePoint on your SharePoint server, in addition to web parts, you also get a change history timeline that is more advanced than the intrinsic change history timeline that comes with SharePoint in itself. So in this example, I have a SharePoint server that I'm basically able to make changes and modifications. And there's some documents in this list here that have been changed and they've been checked in and out by various users. So in other words, there's a history of change going on in these various documents. So if I were to select this one document, um, typically you could click on version history here and get the inbox SharePoint history of items that have changed. So if I click on that, I just want to take a look at the people who've made changes. So here we have a couple of people who've made some changes. They check things in and out. And if I click on this one here, you know, I could basically get that document. So it's basically a list of stuff and the changes that have been added and, and done throughout time here. So I'll just close this one out. And if I just exit that out. But now, if you notice here, Infragistics pretty much has snuck this into the ribbon. So instead of getting that default version history view, you could look at this through a compelling timeline view that's interactive. So I'm going to click on this button, and it's going to launch a Silverlight based extension of that history. So here it is. I can move it around. I could make it bigger. Let's actually maximize it so it takes up the entire screen. So here are all the people that have been interacting with this. So as I hover my mouse over, I get the person's name. Now, if these people were to have their profiles updated, like they have pictures of themselves in their profile, their pictures would show up too, but it doesn't. So it uses the default SharePoint icon for a person. And notice here, there's a timeline from the beginning to the end, and there's several dots of occurrences on this timeline. So these dots are timeline items. So when I click on each timeline item, I get a pop-up that shows me the actual change that was done in like a pop-up that I get here. And I could either open this, so if I open it up, it'll open it up directly, whatever program is assigned with it. In this case, it's a Word document. Or I could save it or save as, but then view, if I click on view, I'm able to essentially view the entry, that log entry, directly in SharePoint. So that's what this does if I click on view, so I'm going to click close. So again, that's basically what you get as an extension to SharePoint. So it's pretty powerful because once I load this back up again, I want to show you some more, more interaction that we have here. I mean, there's only a couple of changes, but I love the timeline view because it's one of the controls from our Silverlight data visualization control set. This element that I'm interacting with down below is called the zoom bar. So you could zoom in on the view, because right now this is easy to work with, there's only three entries, but imagine if you have thousands of changes in a document and it becomes unmanageable. Well, that the previous built-in SharePoint list will become a little bit hard to manage and look at the changes but this will become a little bit more easier to navigate so I could scroll this miniature viewport here which is my little insight into the list of all these changes along the timeline and I'm able to scroll it through this little track and now I could see these three guys right here I could zoom in even further and these are these two guys right here each time I'm able to click on an entry and open the actual file that was during that time and here it is, the timeline view that has been added and allows you to navigate your source control changes from all of the various documents that have been checked in and out in a really easy to use and intuitive way. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.